Hey, Nicola, um, you guys were down 14 with six minutes left in the fourth quarter, came all the way back. We're, we're down just four uh, when there was that play where Faku ran into Anthony Davis when, when Porter hit the three. Uh, how significant of a play was that from a momentum uh, perspective? I mean, we had a chance. I don't think so. It's a, it was a big deal, you know, it's a, just a play. I think that the, the the rebound that they had on the end uh, when, uh, when uh, they missed a layup and they had a putback and they they, they scored that was a big play um, and we didn't I didn't think I didn't think so. I don't think so we scored a lot especially those two maybe we did I think the main problem we didn't shoot well um, they, me me, me f first. Uh, uh, they did a good job, uh, of course, uh, but I kind of think I missed a couple layups. Um, but it is what it is, you know. They're a really good team. It's it's not a shame to lose to a good team. Brandon Christo. How happy were you with your team's, uh, I guess, spirit or whatever, whatever the word is, the, the uh, fact they didn't just shut it down and say it's not our night, shots aren't falling down 14 late uh, to dig to dig deep and, and cut it that close and make it. I mean, to be honest, we never quit. I, I don't think so that we, that, that, that we quit even once. Uh, so we're going to try, you know, we can we can try and we, we can fight. There's a there's a that's something that nobody can take uh, take from us. You know, um, I'm really proud of the guys, you know, that we are we are really we are, we are really trying to, to uh, not give any game away, you know. Alexander Zikic. Nikola, 32 points, 9 scores, 5 assists. On your side, unfortunately, this time it wasn't a victory. It was a little bit closer. What do you say? How did it go? And how are you preparing for the Knicks for a few days? Yeah, it was a hard game. It was a lot of points. A little bit of points. A little bit of points. I don't know when we were going. I was 89 points. Tako da nako, prvo ja normalno, dobro su me čuvali, dobro su me, imaju stvarno dobro odmene igrače, menjali su se, mislim da sam čak i promašao par zicera koji treba da dam, ali eto, nismo nekako kada je trebalo, nismo skočili to u odbrani, kada je Taker promašao zicer, onda je vratila mu slavu i dao zicer, Ali ja to sada radim, nema veze, idemo na sledeću utakmicu, dolazam Nixi koji igraju stvarno super, ozbiljni su u formi, tako da to bit će jedan ispit za nas, opet. Leonardo Torres. Hi Nikola, hope you're well. Hey Nikola, tonight's game looked like a lot, like a playoff game. What are the positive things that you can take away from this game against the Lakers? I think just that that we didn't we didn't quit, you know, we didn't shoot the ball well. Uh, I think that stretch when they had the couple um, couple fast break points. I think West matches to hit two threes, and uh, someone had the layup. I think so. That was a big big. Uh, they went on the run, like an eight over run or something like that, and uh, that was a big uh, big part of their win. But I think from tonight, just that mindset that of never quitting. Mike Singer. Hey, Nicola, I know you say never quit, and, and that's kind of your guys' mentality, but how do you stay positive? How do you stay believing that you guys can make a deep run when these injuries keep mounting, and obviously tonight with PJ? Yeah, I mean, uh, I couldn't believe it. He he actually just he just followed. I mean, uh, I had a kind of good angle. I think I had a good angle, so he kind of jumped into the guy. He just stopped in one moment. I said, didn't look like something, but he, 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 hopefully he's going to be better. I mean, we are, we are, we are losing guys, but uh, it is what it is. I think I said it before, the team who's stayed the, the most healthy during the season, during the playoffs, you know, is going to probably win it all, you know. <laughs> it's the, the luck or something else is not on our side, but uh, we got to fight, you know. Mia Draj Dmitrievich.
Zdravo, Nikola. Miodrag Dimitrijević ovde sa portala Nova RS. Kaži mi, ja bih nešto uopštenije pitanje u ovom trenutku. Da li misliš da je realno da osvojiš MVP titolu i eto, da li bi bilo možda i nepravda da se to ne desi? I da li možda da očekujemo da igraš za Srbiju u kvalifikacijama za olimpijske igre, kasnije olimpijskim igrama? Wow, to stvarno, ja mislim, da za MVP ja stvarno niti razmišljam, niti ovaj niti mislim a i o nevijskim igrama je daleko je sad još ovaj imamo neke ovde poslova tako da stvarno ne znam ne razmišljam ni u jednom ni u drugom sve trenutno Joel Rush Hey Nikola Jebel said that for you guys to see him getting his ring might be a good thing just to make the championship seem more possible. Would you agree with that? And just how was that experience for you? Yeah, I mean, it's a great thing, you know. The guy won three rings, he he was there, you know. He know he was on the top. So uh, it's really cool to see the, the guy from your team getting the ring, uh, just to see the ring, you know, it's really cool. Uh, but yeah, we can, I think we, we, we could do it, of course. Uh, it's not gonna be easy, but Why not? Esteban Abed. Hi, Nicola from Cordoba, Argentina. Uh, tonight, Frank Vogel sent his best play, his best defensive player to to the court, Marga Sol. Uh, how do you feel when he he pushed to the limit your game and you find a way to get back it? Yeah, I think we all forget who Margasol is. I mean, the guy who won two, two defensive player of the year, and uh, I mean, Drummond was there uh, in, in a couple of moments. AD was in me, and uh, I think uh, uh, Morris was couple of possession on me. So you know, the, the, they 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 had they they, they they did a really good job uh, of uh, just sending different people over coverages. Um, uh, they did a good job. I missed all the shots, um, and uh, I, I think I, I, I think I, I need. Uh, you know, it's just it's just part of the season. I think when everybody like like I said, uh, it's it was a low scoring game. Uh, it was probably that part of the season, and you kind of tired. And I don't know. I'm I'm not looking for example, but I mean, they first of all they did a really good job. I don't want to say that that they didn't, but you know, it's just. Um, we all trying to, to, to win the game, you know, so. All right, Nicole, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Julio Montenegro. Hi, Nicola. If you were able to choose, uh, you you want to play it or to avoid the Lakers in the first round of the playoff? Well, it does matter, to be honest. So, I mean, If it happens, happens, why not? If you want to win it, we need to play with the best. So we are not going to try to fix anything. Thank you. My pleasure. I call this. Bye bye. Thank you. Call.